Okay, so welcome back to Bama Girls Cafe. Today I'm going to be doing a different video haul for you guys. It's going to be something a little different. I, Like I said previously, I am going to be expanding my channel. So I'm going to be including some beauty and some fashion on the channel and a couple daily vlogs. Now that I'm back and I'm settled, I'm ready to get back to work on the videos. So, if you have any items that you would like to see that are beauty related, or if you would like to see some makeup tutorials, then please leave a comment down below. I am no beauty guru, but I think I can beat my face pretty well. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, today I'm going to show you guys a few of the cosmetics that I picked up while I was out on vacation because I live here in a small town um, in Manhattan, Kansas, and they really don't have a, they don't have an Ulta, we don't have a Sephora, um, we don't even have a Mac counter in Dillard's. So I have to make the best of my um, vacation so I can stock up on makeup and new things that I want to try. Now some of the things I picked up I absolutely love to Jesus and I will be will be <laughs> reordering them. One of my things I picked up that I was really excited about was the Lori Mercier foundation. Now I love this foundation. I have the color Praline and it is flawless y'all. How y'all like that? Mm -hmm. It is flawless. This is one of my favorite foundations right now. And I have a lot of foundations, okay? I am the foundation queen. Yes. This is really good. It's smooth. It's buildable. It's, um, it, it gives you, you can do a light or heavy foundation. It covers real good. And it's not oily. So I definitely love that. Then I picked up the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder, the setting powder. Now, <laughs> when I went in to get the translucent powder, they were completely out, so all they had was the small one. So I had to order one online, and it should be here in a couple days. I am so in love with this translucent powder. It is all the hype that people have been talking about on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It is all the life, honey. I love it. And the, these two combined, my makeup game tight. So, these right now are my go-to foundations and powder. Another thing I picked up was this NARS concealer. And I, uh, I love the uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is really good. Now, I have been watching Nitra B for a long time and I saw that she always used this and I was like dang her highlight is definitely on point so while I was out on vacation I picked up this concealer and I have dark medium to dark it's bisque I think and honey um, I love it I love this concealer. My highlight be popping, okay? This right here will get your highlight right and it don't take a little. If you put too much on, you'll be all day trying to smooth it out. I really love this because I don't get any creasing under my eyes. And you know, I'm 31 now, so I be trying to hide the lines. I don't get enough sleep sometimes. Life is hectic. So I have to, you know, disguise some things. Another thing I picked up <laughs> And I am going to go ahead and order the full tube. Was the Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I thought that this was another hyped up thing um, on YouTube. Turns out, honey, it's not hyped up. I have little baby lashes at the bottom that are hard to get. This mascara has given me life. I don't have to worry about putting on lashes every day. But today I have lashes on. But I don't have to worry about lashes when I have this on. And I do not wear bottom lashes anymore since I've discovered the Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, what else do I have? I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Water. Now, I have oily skin. Um, I don't have combination skin. I'm straight oily. I'm a, I'm a grease bag. And I like to use this before I, I do my makeup. I got this a, a couple weeks ago. And I love it because it really helps with me to keep my foundation on my face without it sliding off when I break a sweat. And it just controls the aura really good. It's 
silicone free, it's alcohol free, and it's oil free. And I really do like this. So it's a little on the expensive side, but it is so worth it. And it only takes a little bit. What else do I have? So I also, while I was at Laura Mercier, I picked up one of their lipsticks. Now I love MAC lipstick. I'm a MAC girl. And I really don't get into the really high-end lipsticks because I don't know, I just never have, but I think I've been converted, okay? I found this beautiful, beautiful color at Laurie Mercier. It is a like plum color. And I'm gonna show you guys. I love this color. And I'm not really a dark lipstick type of person, but this color has given me all the life. And it is called An Affair. Sorry, my camera cut off, y'all. But this color is really beautiful. Um, it's called An Affair. I think it was like $28. So it's a little pricey, but it was totally, totally worth it. I would buy it again. And I think I'm going to start checking in some more of their lipsticks and their foundations and powders. Because Laura Mercier is really good. I don't worry. I don't have to worry about any breakouts or anything. I haven't had any breakouts or irritations since I've been using their products. And I have very sensitive skin. Another, Another thing that I got from Laura Mercier too was they gave me a sample of their mascara. Now I'm very iffy about taking samples because I always get a sample and then I love it and then I have to go and buy the product and I be looking crazy when I see the sales price but this is definitely a mascara that I'm going to pick up. I think right now this is my second best mascara compared to Better Than Sex. It is TheBomb.com, honey, and it is in black. I can't even see the name of it. I'll list it down below in the comment section. But I love the Lori Mercier line. I know it's expensive, but do like I did and just save a little bit here and there and go on and purchase it because you will not be disappointed. If you think the pilot is on fleet, try the foundation and the mascara, honey. I just got a new addiction. So I also, I like Melania products. So I got these two eyeshadow palettes. And this one is a little bit, got a lot of color. I'm kind of afraid to use this one, but I'm gonna make it work out. And then I have this one, which is more of a neutral color. And I really do like this one. I use this one today. And it's, I like these type of palettes because I'm still a beginner with eyeshadow. And sometimes I struggle to put the colors together. So I like the palettes that come with the instructions on how to do the different colors or where the cut crease should go. And that's what I like about this Melania palette because it gives you all the instructions to get the perfect, perfect eye look. So I'm gonna bring the camera in closer so you guys can see. So I like this one and this one is number 20. And if you look on the back, you can see like the instructions and this is really good for like someone who's a beginner with eyeshadow you know i do a little some but i can't get it like you know some of the other girls on youtube and i'm still learning but i love palettes like this and it was only eight dollars now as far as the pigmentation i have some mac shadows and i have some makeup geek shadows and um the pigmentation is really good but i was actually surprised to see the pigmentation on the, the Milani products. And that's the first one. And they give a really good payoff color. Like I was actually surprised. So, it shows you how to highlight, how to contour, um, how to do the lid, the depth crease, the crease, and um, the, how to brighten the inner eye, and how to define the lower lash. So, I really do like these. And this one is 0 to its number. And the second palette I got is number 6, and I have not used it yet, like I said. I am definitely afraid. I'm definitely going to give it a try because um, 
I need to add some more color into my makeup. You know, live a little. It's just that every time I try, I always end up looking crazy, I think. And I think it's more me. It's not other people. It's just in my head I look crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette for you guys, too. Now this one is not as pigmented as the other one, or maybe it's just me because I'm like really bright right now. I ain't had no sun all went along. That blue is really pretty. So those are some of the colors that are in the second palette. And it's basically like the first palette. And I really do love these products. So I'm definitely going to be getting more Milani eyeshadows and I'm definitely wanting to try out her liquid lipsticks but every time I go to Walmart or CVS or Walgreens they're always out and Target here in Manhattan does not have them. They do not have the Milani line. I'm kind of upset because they don't have any African American lines and um, it's enough of us out here to where they should have more cosmetics in the stores for us but they don't and that's just a part of living in this part of Kansas they barely have makeup for everybody else so I'm a bad time type of girl and I like the Dr. Till products for one it doesn't irritate my pocketbook down there so while I was out I picked up the Dr. Till pure foaming bath and it is very soothing and relaxing and it has like the best smell and this was the one with ginger and clay and it's the detox energizer and i really like this um because it's just really relaxing and it smells good and you feel all nice and it kind of helps your muscles to relax so if you kind of stressed out or you have a couple aches and pains I would definitely recommend this and recently I switched to the Dr. Teal Pure Essence Salt Body Wash Relax and Relief and it has spearmint in it and this one too I like because it doesn't irritate my pocketbook because she really sensitive so I definitely have to be careful on what I use down there, but I definitely like these products and you can find them at Walmart for like $5.99 and this is a big bottle and it only takes a little bit and it gives you a good lather and it's so relaxing and smooth. So I definitely would say try the Dr. Till bath products. Um, the lavender one, if you're going to use that one, I have it. I only use that one at night because it will definitely make you sleepy and extra relaxed. So guys, this is my first makeup um, video, um, me showing you some of the products that I like and um, some of the things I like to use at bath time. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here because I actually have to start another video for you guys. And I'll see you guys back here in a couple of days. I love you guys. Remember that you need to always treat people the way you want to be treated. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself so that you can take care of the others around you with that being said have a good day and god bless you all bye